All right, so here we're reading, we're starting off the, chap, the, the sermon here in Leviticus chapter number 5. Obviously, it's Old Testament law. There's a lot of things here um, that don't exactly apply to us today. But there's one general theme that, that I want you to get out of this chapter. We're going to be turning a lot of different places this morning. But we see here that God holds people responsible for their sins. Right? And in this whole chapter, what it's, what it's mostly dealing with, if you didn't catch it, kind of the overview of this chapter, is basically if you sin and you don't realize you're sinning, if you sin, what's called through ignorance, you're doing something that's wrong, but you don't quite know that it's wrong, you're still found guilty. God still holds you responsible for the sins that you do, even if you don't realize that it's a sin. I mean, you think about it, it's the same way that our government works today. You know, if you break a law, if you... If you trespass against somebody, if you do something, if you sin against another person, say you steal from them, or whatever, I mean, st stealing's pretty common sense. We all know that that's, I mean, that you could, you could guess there's going to be a law against that. But you can't use as justification saying, well, I didn't know that wasn't a law. The burden is on us in order to understand these things, at least within the state of Arizona. We need to know, we're supposed to know what the laws are. Now there's a million laws, and I don't think anybody knows what all of them are. But, see, God's got a lot fewer laws than, than man does. Man comes up with all kinds of laws. God has a lot fewer laws. And he's saying, here, look, if you do something and you sin, if you, you know, in, in these cases, too, he's saying, maybe you didn't even realize you did something. But as soon as you realize that, that you did that and that was wrong, he says, you're guilty. Now, God holds us individually responsible for our own actions. God does not hold us responsible for things that other people do. There's a, there's a teaching out there that teaches, it's a Calvinist teaching, it teaches on original sin. And what they do, and I've, teach, I've taught an entire sermon on this subject, just completely disproving it. But basically what they say, what people will say is that, well, because Adam sinned in the Garden of Eden, that basically we're all held responsible for Adam's sin. And that's just not true. And that's why people, you know, uh, the Catholics will baptize babies because they think that the baptism will help the, uh, save them from going to hell. And a lot of other religions do something similar because they think that without some kind of atonement for an infant, an infant's going to go to hell. And I don't believe that for a second. Little children don't understand the law whatsoever. They don't know anything about it. They don't sin. They're innocent. They're pure. And they go to heaven when they die. But there's this whole thing about original sin. But see, this is disproved. I'll disprove it real quickly here. Stay in Leviticus 5. I'll read from Deuteronomy 24 for, for you. Deuteronomy 24, 14 says, Thou shalt not oppress an hired servant that is poor and needy, whether he be of thy brethren or of thy strangers that are in thy land within thy gates. At his day thou shalt give him his hire... Neither shall the sun go down upon it, for he is poor, and setteth his heart upon it, lest he cry against thee unto the Lord, and it be sin unto thee. The fathers shall not be put to death for the children, neither shall the children be put to death for the fathers. Every man shall be put to death for his own sin. And see, in God's own law, he's talking about, look, you're going to be judged, you're going to be put to death. If you, if you commit a crime worthy of death, that falls on you and you alone. That does not fall on your children. It doesn't, if you're a child, it doesn't fall on you. Or a, 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 you know, a father, if your son does something wrong, you know, that, that punishment doesn't fall on you. If they do something that's guilty of death, it falls on them and them alone. 